Hey guys, Jeremy Jacobus here. If you're new, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. This is all about my food adventures all over the world. And today we're going on a little bit of food adventure, but we're also going on a very fun adventure because I got something so, 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 so exciting. And if you guys have seen previous videos before about stuff I get excited about, oh, it's camera related. And I got something super, super cool sent to me. It is the Ray-Ban Facebook uh, sunglasses stories situation. So it's their new collaboration um, sunglasses slash camera device. Um, very cool. I have a lot of questions about these. I have a lot of feelings about them. So what this video is going to be is about a little bit sort of first impression. I'm going to open them, check them out, get it going, um, and then sort of take them outside, take them about my day, uh, get some food, do that kind of stuff. And then sort of have like a, I don't know about a full review, but at least like a very thorough first impressions because what I'm sort of thinking about, concerned about with this is one, is it actually a good camera? Like, is it actually decent? I'm concerned about the specs that I've seen. Um, two, good or bad, is it actually useful? <laughs> is it something you actually want to use? I know the whole point is to also, they have a new app uh, that comes along with it to edit it and pump it out over all social media, of course. So sort of seeing how does that work? What's a workflow like? Is this something I could use in YouTube videos? Is this something I could just use in stories? Is this something I want to use at all? Am I not going to lose them? I lose all my sunglasses, but yeah. So without any further ado, let's get these bad boys open. So they had um, a bunch of different styles, like not a million styles, but I want to say about, I don't know, four or five styles you can pick from and different colors and stuff. I went with the Wayfarers, which are classic Ray-Bans. I've only had one pair of Ray-Bans in my life. They were amazing. I love them. I lost them in Japan. <laughs> I never got a new pair. That was three years ago. Okay. So it comes with download the Facebook View app. So that's the app you have to do. Um, comes with a charging cable here. Probably what C to C. No charging brick, but I guess you're used to that now. No, no more charging bricks for any for anybody. Um, what is this? This is just a manual maybe? Let's see here. Safety and warranty, a soft case go along with the hard case. And now the actual sunglasses, let's open these. Oh, so the charging port is on the case. So I guess they charge through the case, just like, you know, headphones or whatever. Ah. So they look just like Ray-Bans. They feel just like, they, they, um, they feel very light. Like I probably wish I could like compare them to normal Ray-Bans, I guess. Um, but they feel very light. They, no heft, feel good. Like obviously thicker along here where like the components are, the batteries and everything else that's going on are along the thing here. So I guess too, like even though they feel lighter just in hand, Will they, where, where it's holding that weight, will they want these on my head all day? Will they, you know, like that's going to play into this as well. Um, and then as you can see, two sensors, two lenses on either end there. Um, we'll sort of see what exactly the dealio is with them and what they look like and what they do. But I mean, also, do they look cool? Do I look cool? They feel... They feel good. Sometimes sunglasses, this isn't like a, this is a normal sunglasses. I'm like, they kind of, my, my head's gigantic and I don't look good in them, but I think I look okay. But all right, so I'm gonna get these charged up. I'm gonna download the app and then we'll, we'll have some fun. Okay, so just very quickly, uh, I figured I would just walk you through this process anyway since I'm doing it. So I downloaded the Facebook View app. Um, obviously you have to sign in through your Facebook. Listen, if you are someone that is concerned about Facebook privacy, I'll just be, I'll say it, I'll just say it. I don't know if these sunglasses are for you. You're clearly going to have to log on to Facebook. You're clearly going to have to give a lot of permissions, a lot more information to Facebook. My whole life is Facebook anyway. I don't really care. I'm not really concerned about security at all with these or most things. Um, so not a concern, but so we're just going to skip past all that, honestly, if you have those questions. So, okay. Glasses are charged up. I went through the whole setup process on your phone. Uh, let me just sort of walk through a with you guys a little bit of how it works and then we'll actually go test it out. So there's a little button right here 
this is your shutter button basically. If you just tap it, it will record a video for 30 seconds and you can tap it to stop or if you hold it down, it'll actually take the photo. And when you are recording, there is a little white light that should pop up here. We'll see that in two seconds. And then here, sort of like your media controls, um, it does you, does let you listen to music and take phone calls and stuff like that. So you can control that here. Um, and also it works with Facebook's assistant, which I set up, which I've never used before. I don't know if I'm gonna be yelling out, you know, hey, hey Facebook, do this or whatever, but it's nice to have. So shall we hit record and see what happens? I heard it. I see in the little right hand corner, we're white, which means we're recording. Do you guys see it? And uh, we'll see what this looks like. Huh. Um, we'll stop it there. And I could hear it, so it works. The speakers are just like in the thing itself. It's the jawbone speakers, basically. Um, yeah, so here's what we'll do. We're gonna go outside, do like a little vlog style thing, see what kind of content we could capture, and then we'll talk about it. Hello. Hi. 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 Oh, no, no, no. oh my gosh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Oh, wow. Wow, that's good. I know. I know. I see you. She is small. I know, but like, she is a She's the tiniest dog ever. She like keeps like. Hmm. Yummy? This is my plastic phone. Hmm. Oh, hello, hello. And then, like, people keep walking. You were thirsty. Hmm. Okay, so uh, instead of going to, on a little walk to get pizza, I ordered in pizza from Rosa's Pizza. It's like 95 degrees today, and I really didn't feel like walking and sweating, but. Why don't we uh, turn these on and eat some pizza and see how it looks. Ooh, there she is in all her glory. Oof, this pizza looks ba 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 bomb. Damn. Mm. 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 Roast's pizza fucking rocks. Uh, I think to compare to snap some photos on the iPhone, see how that looks because I mean my iPhone's always gonna be on me anyway so like is it really that much harder to just like reach my phone and go in like this so just to compare so uh, I think we got a lot of footage let's bring it to premiere and um see how it looks okay so I've gone through the footage uh, I have some thoughts on the footage itself on the glasses itself on the app and some, I guess, more sort of wrap ups. Okay, so let's actually take a look at the footage and compare sort of like just brought into Premiere, uh, which is sort of just like the square. Hello. Hi. 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 Okay, and here's me sort of stretching it where it's a little bit more usable in this vlog. Hello. Hi. 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 Okay, and then here is some footage uh, from the iPhone, obviously a little bit different, but 30 seconds later. Hi. So, you know, one thing I want to say is if this footage seemed just like a little off, one thing I my bad is I shoot all my videos 24 frames per second. These only shoot 30 frames per second. So it looks a little stuttery. It looks a lot for that reason. That's my fault. Don't judge it on that. But I mean, listen, the resolution is just not great. It's a little muddy. It's, it's muddy. Let's just say that. I think that the footage too, like the color balance seems really off compared to the iPhone. The iPhone is a little, it's a little blue uh, where the glasses are like very saturated and very warm. And I think you sort of see, see that play out in photos also. So here's a photo I took of, uh, of Domino Park where it's a big, wide open, sunny, beautiful day, great blue sky. I think this photo looks, looks great. Um, 
it's very saturated, but this sort of scene, you want to be super saturated. Um, but here's a photo I took of the pizza. And this one is just, just okay. Again, comparing it to uh, the iPhone photo of the pizza, the iPhone just sort of blows it away. I find that this is warm and this is crazy saturated. Um, one frustration I also found was figuring out the perspective of the two lenses and what you're actually shooting. Um, what I would love, and this, you know what this, that, before I talk about that, you know what's annoying? So this is the button right here to the shutter button, as I said earlier. I keep fucking accidentally hitting it. So I keep accidentally shooting scenes. Well, now they're off, but like accidentally shooting scenes, accidentally taking photos, starting things and stopping things by accident and then not rolling in what I want it to roll on. So when you have them on and you're rolling, you should hear a little signal that they're going, but when you're outside, you don't hear it, honestly. And right in the upper right corner here is the little indicator light where, yes, if I look that way, I could sort of just make it out. But if I'm on the go and filming, I really was never sure if they were rolling or not, which is annoying. And that sort of comes back to the app. So the app itself, uh, connects via Bluetooth, and then when you go to download everything, uh, downloads it connects to itself via Wi-Fi and downloads. And honestly, downloaded really, really quickly for the amount of photos and videos that it's doing. And then you could edit in the app if you want. You could change the aspect ratio. You could change color stuff. You could do little editing in the app, which is actually really nice. You could put together little montages. They had little tools. Great. Um, I wanted to do more. I think one thing that would really, really help me is one if I was able to view this lens through the app, just so I could get a real, a much better sense of what I was shooting, I think that would really help. I think that the photos were just like, things were off, you know, the videos are off. Things that I wanted to be more centered were all the way to the left. And I had no idea until I went back and looked at them. And yes, maybe I could train my eye to do it a little bit, but if I just have them on and I'm looking and I could just see it a little bit more, I think that would really, really help. The other thing I'd really love is just more control over this. You know, like uh, uh, maybe to color balance, have it have an option in there. Again, it, maybe the settings are on there too. Maybe it's on the screen there, but change color balance. Um, changing the frames per second would be fantastic. I think that would be good. Um, just a little bit more manual control. Cause you know, I think like as much as I sure they want these to be owned by every single person, you know, these are gonna be used by creators like me. And I think if you're a creator, you want control over what you're doing and you're going to be more excited by having control over that product. Um, now, yes, would I like better sensors and better lens in this? Absolutely. But you're not going to achieve that till, you know, Ray-Ban Facebook stories version two. So whatever. The, the seven, it's essentially 720p, I guess. It's, or it's fine. It's, it's fine. So just in terms of the other features of it, um, I thought they sounded fine. Like I was listening to Spotify on them. Um, good, nice and clear, got pretty loud. Is it gonna blow me away with its sound? No, you know, it's a, it's, it's, it's a little, maybe like a little tinny, maybe just like needs that oomph. Um, but for just walking around and sort of normal stuff, I think that, it, you know, it's actually pretty impressive that, they, that it has, you know, speakers built in. I think that's cool to take calls from it. I think is really, really cool. Um, so not the greatest, but I think for this form factor, that's awesome. One more sort of maybe bigger issue, uh, this comes up more is overheating. My favorite subject to talk about with cameras. We did so many videos about that with the R5, but so when I was on the roof, you know, eating pizza and filming, I was up there probably 10 minutes t in total filming in those 30 second bursts and taking some photos. Um, listen, I was in, I was in direct heat. I was in direct sunlight. It was very hot. But when I walked back inside, I had an alert on my phone that said this. The glasses had overheated. And while I went back inside and it seemed to be fine just moments later, um, you know, these glasses aren't for wearing indoors and filming. They're for being out and doing stuff and exploring and traveling with and quick capture things. And the fact that they overheated that quickly could be a major concern. Now, I'm positive that's why the sacrifice a little bit of the resolution and camera ca camera capabilities uh, because of that overheating issue. But the fact that we sacrificed those capabilities and still overheated that quickly, 
um, is not a good sign. I mean, listen, I, I think at the end of the day, like every camera, it's going to be, how does this fit into your workflow? And I don't actually know that yet. Um, I think for sure photos, I'm probably never going to use it for photos because you still sort of have to put one hand here and click and you're sort of losing that. With, with video, I thought it was cool, like me having both my hands out there and playing at the dog. Like I think that perspective and, and that um, ability is actually kind of cool. For photos, you still sort of have to go like this, you have to click. And if I'm going to do all that for that photo, I have my iPhone right here. I might as well just use my iPhone. For the video, maybe it does make sense. I think that, you know, uh, uploading the video to stories, which I did, did it look like the greatest footage ever? No, but you know, the stories resolution is already kind of shitty. Um, so it didn't look so off. I think where the footage in this video just looks off. It's on a 4K timeline, you know, it's on YouTube. It, it, it looks off. So if I just have these on, because they're cool sunglasses anyway, I might just wear them and they're there and I could just quickly get a cool little video for stories, maybe that's worth it. And maybe that's really the intended usage of this, which, which it is. But if it is the intended usage, here's the biggest thing that I want. I don't know why it shoots a square image. I don't know why that nothing, there's no social media where square images make sense. And I understand why it's just a form factor and it's the whatever, look how goddamn tiny that center is. But to me, it's like if you're Instagram and you're Facebook and you're pushing everybody to make nine by 16 videos, why not just get a sensor, flip it, have all the video vertical. And then you share that everywhere. And then you're not cropping because the thing is even that one by it's such a low resolution and now I'm cropping it to fit a nine by 16 to be on reels or stories or wherever you want me to share, Facebook wants me to share it. And now it looks terrible. I think that for version two, just let me, let me shoot just vertical. That's it. You guys, they talk about constantly that's the future of video and I basically agree. So make these like super powered to shoot for stories and reels and they were good. Listen. First generation product, I think it's cool. I think it's fun to play with. I think if you're a nerd, maybe they're worth picking up and messing around with a little bit. I think for everyday use, I don't know if people are really gonna love them and default to them. But I think there's a lot of use cases for these and I'm excited to sort of find out a little bit more about those use cases and where I can use them. Like I'm already, st I am thinking, it, it's got me thinking as a producer, what could I use these for? And I think that's a good sign. So I know I've sort of gone back and forth. I hope this video was helpful. Um, I'm gonna keep playing with them. If you wanna see more of what I do with them, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Jeremy Jacobitz. I'll probably be sharing a little bit more there. And you might, um, I'll share, I mean, make sure you follow me here on YouTube. You might see this play a little bit more in future videos. Um, but yeah, then if you have any questions, let me know, comment. And um, yeah, until then. Bye guys. I mean, I look kind of good. I, I do look okay, right? I look good.